Ooh, that is a complete piece that leads from generation into generation. Because of that blessing, what we end up seeing is that there is an appreciation for everything within the spirit. Why it is duality, but also an understanding that duality. What we actually see is not only the idea of the messianic prophecy that's shown forth within the scriptures, but also the idea that we end up seeing within his guy itself. Now, Israel is a great example how he went from being the foot to the head or looking at the ability for us to be full of, for instance, from righteousness, from the Zadi to the Russian. And how that it actually is also showing forth how we end up seeing that spiritual ascension and an ability for the reciprocation of the Spirit of God and the balance that God gives us because of His Word. Now, it says that fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. But to understand that knowledge, understanding, are worth more than gold, so is a good thing. We end up building forth these characteristics and having that appreciation because of the reverence for our Father, our Father God. That ability and that respect and reverence that comes forth from Christ was everything. You end up having that foundation and you also end up having the increase of righteousness and prosperity. And that when there is an equal measure of increase, understand that when James says this, when you encounter various trials and tribulations, count it all joy. Because in doing so, builds up the perseverance of your faith. You see that equal measure that he ends up giving, and it's like a brother. And peace is given unto you because of that love. What we have to see is that he is going to show us exactly how we are going to receive the eternal blessings of God. So that if I give you an abundance of prosperity, how will you overcome it? If I end up giving you poverty, how will you do this? But in understanding that he's actually showing you and strengthening you so that you are both ready, whether you end up having righteousness around you, or if you have to deal with wickedness of this world. If you have poverty, or if you have great riches. You can take a wealthy man away from his riches, but a man of God, they know how to live with both. David's a great example. He knew how to live in the kingdom. He knew how to live right there next to the king. He was the king of Jerusalem, king of Hebron. And what we also see is that he learned how to be a leader in the desert. He learned how to live and to thrive with nothing and how to thrive when he had abundance. When we see both of them, God ends up showing them. And when you can have the abundance and still live the way that you did when you had nothing, when you had to fight for every last penny, that heart that you end up having, that's the heart of David. Live la vie. It is the love of the beloved. You get that and you got everything. Build that up every day. Look towards God and you'll understand the very sweetness that comes forth from the word of God. I want you to build, keep building. Kingdom, heart, faithfulness, fidelity, it's grace. It is the completeness of his peace. And it's eternal. Build that kingdom in your heart, in your family, in your church, and in all the world. My message is simple. It's really simple. Jesus is living, and when you receive that, you receive the eternal kingdom and the love of our Creator and of our Messiah. God bless. God bless America, and I'll see you.